Harlem Commonwealth Council. Solid. Grounded. Visionary icon for the continued economic and social development of Harlem since 1967. Harlem Commonwealth Council. For over four decades building for the future through the careful planning and efficient implementation of its highly innovative programs. Harlem Commonwealth Council. Investing in people. Investing in possibilities. Investing in prosperity. And how better to invest in the future than through Harlem Commonwealth Council's integrated activity for this community's young people? We talked about reaching boys and girls who were performing above level and just giving them something different that the public school didn't offer in an after-school program. Young people respond to challenges that are engaging, stimulating, and fun. Harlem Commonwealth Council's Think and Create after-school programs, housed within Harlem's Harriet Tubman Learning Center, PS 154, offer a wide array of hands-on learning opportunities designed to enhance each participant's cognitive, effective, and tactile skills. This program is called Think and Create. And in Think and Create, we do several stuff, and it's been improving since last year. But in this particular subject, we're working on our smart board project. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Well, I'd say the Pilgrims. Pilgrims. Was that? Oh, man. So that's how you do it. All right. Are you having fun here at Think and Create? Yes. Besides this, we do a lot of stuff. One of them we do is pop-up class, where we do our pop-up books. My name is Miles Figaro, and this is my project. I call it the DX Tower. Because before, I never knew how to make pop-ups, and I tried, but I never could. <laughs> like, kids from around the world could come to school and learn how to make pop-ups, learn how to go on the computer, learn how to drum, learn how to read and write. Yes. They have been talking about angles, space, size, and how they all fit together. The math and science collaborates. Is you can't think to yourself, well, when this teacher's here, I'm going to behave this way. And when this teacher's there, I'm going to behave this way. Because you're the same person. If you see somebody's talking, don't, don't say just, just, just um, sit down and do what you're supposed to do. What is the product of five and nine? Soccer. I thought I saw some soccer balls. Oh yeah, soccer is so fun. We have soccer as well. Soccer, soccer is quite new. And soccer is an added boom. Because when uh, you listen to all the news about trying to make children physically fit, Soccer does answer that, and they're learning sportsmanship and how to play and relate to each other. HCC is proud to announce its new partnership with Harlem's own youth soccer team, FC Harlem Lions. Think and create. Think and create where we create things. But well, we have to think about it first and then create it. Harlem's high school juniors and seniors have been able to gather valuable work skills experience through HCC's summer internship program. Serious program candidates participate in a rigorous interview process before being placed with well-established businesses in Harlem and beyond. I've been working downtown on 53rd Street and 
I was working with the accounting, accountants since I wanted to be an accountant. I had to call other companies such as Target and all the commercial companies, Old Navy, The Gap, to send them information if they want to do the retail development with the project in Washington, D.C. I work at Van Wagner. It's an advertising company downtown. You usually see the big billboards on 42nd and stuff like that. And it's very important because we take our internship program very, very seriously. Uh, it's not go to Starbucks and get me uh, you know, a event day, whatever. It's a program where we depend on them and they learn. Some of HCC's sponsoring partners in this successful program initiative have been the Gotham Organization, Van Wagner Communications, Cogswell Realty Corporation, Grid Properties, City National Bank of New Jersey, Danforth Development, AA Trucking, Harlem Hospital, and F.W. Hunter Camp Company. Now that the internship, I know some of you are still doing it, but however, the summer is over, the internship is over, I want you to realize that HCC, the, the board, myself, um, we're here. We don't want to lose sight of you. We'd, we would, in fact, like to keep track of you. Um, the board gives scholarships. We're just starting to give some scholarships in the health-related fields. And if any of you qualify, of course, we'd be happy to help you move on. Academic advancement holds a special allure for many of Harlem's graduate and undergraduate scholars. To that end, HCC has partnered in the creation of a number of healthcare initiatives specifically designed to assist those seeking to further their career horizon. We're basically our family here, because we spend a lot more time here than with our family. So we know how much hard work and dedication it takes, so we have to do basically just that. Well, it was wonderful when we met Dr. Tate. I forget exactly how we met him, but he came and he did visit the school. He told us about what he did, and we showed him Helene Fold. And then it was very nice. He started to award some scholarships to our students, which was really great, because our students work so hard, and they have you know, so little money that a scholarship makes a big difference in their lives. Where else can you inject? I think it was my background in nursing and my desire to continue working with my brother, who's autistic and mentally retarded, as well as um, once I graduate, to continue working with, uh, with the same population as my brother. People such as myself, um, who are already licensed practical nurses, we're not given any advanced standing as well. We may have worked for 10 years in hospitals, clinics, nursing homes, and we still have to be put on the same list as other people just walking through the door. Well, how does, um, how does Harlow Commonwealth's programs um, address any of those issues, if at all? It addresses the issues for people like me who are licensed practical nurses who want to go back, and there's a school held in full, College of Nursing, that gives advanced standards to licensed practical nurses. And it's a, uh, it's a one year program but it's so intense, many people have to leave their jobs or reduce the amount of hours that they work in order to, to go. As a result, there's less, um, you have less financial resources to pay your tuition. A place like Harlem Commonwealth, who offers us scholarships, invest in us, giving us the opportunity um, to, to pay our tuition so that we can go forth in our, in our career. HCC scholarships have aided many aspiring healthcare professionals pursue their academic goals at Helene Fold College of Nursing, the CCNY Sophie Davis School of Biomedical Education, Borough of Manhattan Community College, and Harlem Hospital Radiology Program. We can't say it go. We have to say it goes. So remember, even with the S, with the S that makes it singular, we have to use it, uh-huh, with the S. That's why we call this irregular verbs. So we go. go. Exactly. For other Harlem residents, moving ahead in life is a passion, tied tightly to revisiting and then mastering the basics. And HCC's investment in these passions are best exemplified through its ESL 
L Civics, and adult basic education programs. Programs that provide just such training for those seeking tangible improvement for the quality of their lives. This diverse family of eager students gather in Harlem Commonwealth's modern and well-equipped classrooms to engage in its adult basic education program for ESL grads. Other students' burning desire is to earn a GED. I love this because that's made me feel very nice. I want to learn English for, for more job, you know, for more opportunity. I came for progress. This experience was wonderful because I learned many things. I could improve my English, my speaking, my listening, reading, writing. Thank you for improve up English. I hope everybody speaks English. <laughs> Any meaningful investment in the good people of Harlem must include an equal investment in the unlimited possibility contained in its citizens' desire to create positive change for themselves, for their families, and for the community at large. Oh, I would just like to say thank you so much for offering this course. It's great. We appreciate it. Uh, it's well worth the time. Harlem Commonwealth has pioneered a number of programs created specifically to help transform the dreams of motivated Harlemites, indeed the possibilities, into powerful tools for attaining success in business and academic excellence. HCC's New Ventures program provides new and aspiring entrepreneurs with the fundamentals of smart business startup skills. See your vision, live your vision, deliver the vision so that somebody can support it. We look at our businesses, we look at what we're doing through a prism of how close we are to it, never really seeing the value of what we do for other people. I liken it to like a, a slow uh, submerge into a, a very deep pond. You don't want to scare the beachcombers at the very beginning, but it is an ocean. It is an ocean, but we are given the tools to swim. And you have to practice your stroke you know, you're taught how to swim, you're taught how to tread water, you're taught how to float, but if you don't practice and apply the skills when it's time for the big dive, it may not be pretty, but you're given everything you need. You're given everything you need. It's up to you to make it happen. Harlem Commonwealth's latest effort to build on its investments in central Harlem can be found in its entrepreneurial loan program a new microloan program created to give small businesses that extra boost. HCC's new microloan program can be viewed as a possible alternative to traditional small business loan programs that are often inaccessible and laden with barriers that can seem daunting to emerging entrepreneurs. Harlem Commonwealth Senior Citizen Program, which takes place at the Alice Cornegay Computer Learning Center, offers 16-week computer skills courses for senior citizens. So now they know how to do a computer, know how to surf the web, and all of them have an email account, so they can now you know, communicate with their uh, children and grandchildren and other uh, relatives and, and uh, close friends. I've been around computers, but I've never really worked with it, but I enjoy doing this one. I'm catching on. Hey, hey, don't be afraid. I mean. Just, just sit down in front of the computer and play with it. You'll see. You're going to like it. You're going to love it. So you recommend this to other To people? anybody who wants to learn. Anybody. It's, it's easy, actually. It's easy. Really easy. So what are you doing right now? Well, right now I'm trying to figure out why my email don't work. Seniors also enjoy a host of special events and activities sponsored by Harlem Commonwealth Council, many of them intergenerational in nature.
But today, we've come to celebrate a king. We've come to celebrate the life of Dr. Martin Luther King. Fantastic. I think the young people are doing a wonderful job. Great. It was wonderful. Very good performance. Wonderful. Simply marvelous. I know English. Uh, today, uh, wonderful. We were invited from our centers, Central Hollow Senior Centers, and we had a good time. Enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Uh, we, we are happy. We, we are happy. They were marvelous. Very nice. Yeah, beautiful show. Everything beautiful. Absolutely, it's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Un día grande en la comunidad afroamericana celebrando el aniversario del doctor Martin Luther King que luchó por los derechos civiles. I enjoyed it very much and I'm happy I was here today, despite the cold. Oh, the performance was very impressive. It was very nice, very educational wise, and the young people were very good. They exemplify the kind of programs that we have here for youngsters. And part of our mission here in Harlem uh, is to provide that kind of expertise, to provide that kind of training, to provide uh, that kind of support for all the youngsters of Harlem. This is where it is. On King's birthday, you've watched the generations exchange, receiving as they deserve to for the long lives and the sacrifices they made, to young people performing and giving and being. Young people are all, 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 all that and then some. Only in Harlem do you have talent, intellectual, cultural, social, emotional. It's all there. It's right here at Harlem Commonwealth Council, spreading the wealth, spreading the genius of young people. 41 years has shown us to this point in time where we now know what types of community development initiatives bear the most nutritious fruits. Harlem Commonwealth's stated mission is to help create independence and stability in Harlem through economic development, academic empowerment, and entrepreneurial support. We hope this brief tour of Harlem Commonwealth Council's programs has helped you gain an increased understanding of the impact these initiatives have on Harlem and its citizens. Mine is a lonesome road and I walk it all alone but I'm not afraid Your voice is everywhere in the eyes of a newborn child In the river that runs so wild Through this crazy heart of mine You're my everything Every song I sing Every word I write My all in all I know you're by my side You're in front of me Oh my God, and you carry me when I am feeling small. Say walk away, I would. You say stay, I'll learn my lessons good, and only time will tell. You're my everything, every song I sing, every word I write, my own. I could find the words to say that I love you with I could find the words to say that I care I can hear your voice It's all around me And I can feel your presence It's everywhere